Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create abstract uh, renders, objects, just create abstract things in Cinema 4D essentially. And I did one of these before, and I'll link that in the description down below if you want to check that out. Uh, that was pretty limited. Uh, it was sort of similar to this, but I think this way is pretty cool, and I also added the tracer effect to add a little more to this. Obviously, this is like a simple way to go about creating these, so it doesn't take a lot of time, and you get some pretty cool results. And obviously, I'm going to be showing you the settings I use to create something like this, uh, but you can tweak all the settings to create your own original pieces. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide all these layers for now. And uh, you won't have these purple lines on your screen, but uh, you want to open up Cinema 4D. Obviously, I'm using my own Lightroom. If you want to buy it, it's a dollar in my store. Or you can use your Lightroom or whatever Lightroom or no Lightroom, whatever. But we want to get a platonic. And I have, if you go to display, I have my lines on. Um, and I'm going to bump my segments to 8. Then I'm going to go to Deformers, and I'm going to get a twist and add that to the platonic. And I'm not even going to change uh, anything but the angle, which I'm going to just bump up to like 300 some. Maybe like 310-ish. 309 will work. Then let's go back to the Deformers and get a bevel. Add this to the bottom of the twist um, inside the platonic. And we want to go to op the Option tab. And Component Mode, we'll go Polygons. Offset, we'll go about 20. And let's head over to the Polygon Extrusion tab. Uh, let's set this max angle. Where, where do we, we went low. Let's go uh, about 13. And you can see already, uh, this is basically the model that I showed you. And you can see if I change settings you get different looks. Um, if I bump it up you don't get as good uh, of a look. Um, I guess the less the more crazy it gets. I settled for 13 because I thought that was the best looking. And that's essentially it with the actual object itself. Um, you can also do some things where you duplicate the bevel and add it in to get something like this and then obviously you can tweak those settings to create something and um, you could like remove the twist I guess that doesn't look good actually um, you could add more deformers play around get different looks don't just copy me and render it unless you're using it for something it's not on its own I mean I don't really care but I think you should be a little original when going about doing this um, now select the platonic and actually let's go to MoGraph fracture add the platonic to the fracture select the fracture <clears throat> and let's go to MoGraph Tracer and we want to this screen should pop up in your bottom corner we want to set the handle cloners to immediate clones set the limit to from end type we'll go Bezier and then natural and for the amount we want to go to like between like 4 and 8 really is ideal 8's a little long though um, so I'm going to go 5, that might go to 6 though, we'll see. And select the fracture again, and go to MoGraph Effector Plane. Go to pr uh, Parameter, Uncheck Position, Check Rotation. Go to the beginning of your timeline, and we want to click these dots, uh, these red dots on the first two settings for rotation. Bring it forward some, uh, bring your timeline forward some, and then we're going to bump up the first one to close, somewhere in the 300, so it's about a full 360 rotation. And then the second one, just a little bit, to so maybe closer to 90. These dots should turn orange. You want to click them so they turn red, so that's now a keyframe as well. So we have two keyframes on our timeline. You can see the black lines are our... Uh, tracer so let's start here move forward a little bit and once those lines sort of start uh, that's where you kind of want to end it you don't want to go too long because then the lines might remain um, you can also just change your uh, camera angle to get different looks and such 
um, but the materials we're using, this is just a default white material, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, that's just basic material creating, but the hair material, we want to go to create shader hair material. Double click on that. And let's go color. I'm just going to select a green, pretty bright green, maybe not that bright. Something like that, okay. And then I'm just going to drag off that second one so it's fully green. You could also just, on the other side, do a darker green or a lighter green, less saturated green, whatever, to have some variation. I'm just going with the solid. Then let's go to thickness. And if you want it thicker, you can bump up the root and do whatever you want. But I'm going to go here to 0.5, command click to add a point there. And I'm going to select either point on either side and bring them down. So they'll get thinner at either end. And if I add this to the tracer, add the white to the fracture. Actually, I'll add it to the platonic itself. If I render this out, we should get something similar to what I just showed you in the beginning. And that is basically the effect. I mean, it's pretty easy. Obviously, you can create a bunch of variations with this, etc. If you have a, uh, you probably want to use better materials on the platonic. I just use a standard white so I could render it quickly for you guys. But um, yeah, so you can play around with this, get some different looks, try different materials, try different settings, uh, play around, and you could find some pretty cool stuff. You could also use things other than a platonic and stuff like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and hopefully you guys are able to go about creating some cool abstract things in Cinema 4D. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, drop a like. If this gets 100 likes, I'll include this Cinema 4D file in the description for you guys to download and check out yourselves. Also, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. Follow me on Twitter, at Quezzy, and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.